that you need to do. Every hand placement, foot placement, hip movement, everything has purpose, okay? And I'll explain the purpose here, okay? My knees and legs are high so I can keep breaking this posture. Make it work to have posture. Working to have posture forces him to commit to this hand here, okay? That makes it easier for me to break this posture. I tilt it out and in, okay? I have to control this arm here because if I begin to hook his leg here and load his weight, he's gonna post out with that right hand if I don't control it, okay? Because if I'm here, my legs are dead, okay? I have to have this leg alive and even to be able to rotate your hips because here you also have that right there, okay? Which they're not gonna want. But here I'm pulling this. So as I scoot out here, okay? I'm pulling his knee to my head and my head to his knee. Because here I have a good amount of balance here and leverage because his right hand, they're typically gonna wanna post this out, okay? So here, you kick him up over and I hold on to this leg here, okay? And I hold on to this arm here. Maybe I'll get it out. Whatever the case may be, I want to get to the top, okay? So look, so what I'm doing here is, okay? My hips are up, pulling in his posture, pulling him in. He, I, I know he's not serious about pushing my hip, because he's gonna have to be serious about posting here, yes. From here, I pull this up, okay? And I go here, and I keep pulling this up. He wants to post his hand out, I kind of block it with my knee. He still wants to post it out, okay? And I keep hoist, ho hoisting this up on top of me, literally, like make a fist and hoist it, because as you mount him here, okay, it makes it a lot worse for a mount. And I don't wanna just go like, ha, I'm here, because there's no pressure. And I want to be able to isolate his hands, whether one, okay, or two, or whatever. I want to be able to attack. But I don't want to just lift my hips off in order to, uh, to hit here I am, okay? Because the way that it really works is, look, we're here, 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 I go here. Okay? And it's very leveraging here, and I stay here so that I can begin to work and attack. And there's pressure, I need to make him feel uncomfortable from the pressure. So if you look at my hip position, relative to my partner, I pull my head to the knee. Okay. Look, I'm here, my hips are off the mat. Why are my hips off the mat? So I can reach. My hips here, it blocks me, especially his knees are a little bit more narrow, right there. Okay. Here, I have, yes, I have the elbow here, but I feel him Yes, look, from here, I'm pulling, my hips are dropping as my legs open, and I hoist him up, up here. My left knee is blocking his arm from coming out. Yes, try to pull it up, okay? I'm still here, he can put his hand on the mat, okay? Which is fine, but I know that his left knee, and his, I mean, his right knee and his right hand is, is the line, so I can go here and I can just go perpendicular to that, okay? And take him over. Notice the whole time I'm controlling that arm. Because I want it isolated. I want to be able to tap it. Okay, one well, last time. So we're here. My hips are up. Because I know he has to come in here. He has to try to push my hips down. There we go. Yes. Look, look, even here, he wants to posture up. I keep swinging that leg. Swing that leg. He wants to posture up. Look, maybe get that over. And hoist it up. Attack it. Whatever the case may be. Pull my hips back. And nice and pressure. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Get your body perpendicular so that they're literally on your hamstring. Okay? But don't swing your left leg out too far so you pull your groin. 